Hello everyone, this is Miriam. You're going to travel with me through memory lane, through phone calls we recall places I've lived and places that I've visited over my entire life. Let me pack my bags. We're going now everyone. Goodbye. Miriam, are you ready to do a show? Yes. Where are we going today? We still have some numbers from uh, for West Virginia um, that we didn't get to last week. But um, I'm hoping to try and find some some numbers for other states. And we can try and find out some information, some history, and perhaps... Um, find other things that you might be more interested in. Maybe finding a place to uh, jump off a bridge or you know, otherwise maim yourself. Oh yes, that's exactly what I want. Yeah, and, and this week we have, uh, we have two microphones now. So we're not just talking to one microphone. You know, because when, when you're talking, no one can hear me and when when I'm talking, no one can hear you, and that's kind of a problem. So now we have uh, a better studio setup here, I think. Yes. Can I come over to the old microphone? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just come around the booth and come on in. All right. Yes, I'm going over. Oh, oh. oh I'm tripping over calls. What are these? Oh dear. Why are there so many cores on the ground? Miriam, could you get out of my way? Maybe just go back, okay? Oh, all right, yes. I, I, this cores, they, they really hurt me. I, I don't like. Can you please take this thing down? I, oh, yes, here's my microphone. Oh, I'm so happy I'm back. I know, Miriam. All right, let's let's get the calls going. All right, let's go. This show was brought to you by Tiger Eye Four C, Gordo, Crispy Eight O Eight, Xander Fett, Robert Tobois, H M M, and Default Yerin. Thank you, everyone, for keeping the show going. Beckley Exhibition Coal Mine and Youth Museum. Yes, hello. What can you tell me about your coal mine? Um, this was once a working mine in the late 1800s up until about 1910. Um, you ride a train underground. You go with an experienced coal miner. Um, takes about 30, 35 minutes. And then we have the five coal camp buildings you can tour. And we have a museum. And um, we're open seven days a week from 10 to 6 until November the 1st. All right. I he says it's a train? Yes, you'll ride a train. Oh, how deep does it go? Um, total track footage uh, it goes about 1,500 feet. Oh, yes, that sounds quite interesting. Has anyone fallen mm -hmm. off the train? No, no. No, and this is, this is a drift mine. It goes straight back into the mountain. It goes back, not down. Oh, I see. Yes. Do we get to mine inside the coal mine? Um, you ride the whole way. You don't get to get off the train. Oh, all right. What do you have in the museum? Oh, uh, it's we just have some mining photographs and artifacts in in the upstairs of our company store, and there's an elevator to get to that. Oh, all right. Uh, yes, I'll be there October the nineteenth. Yes. Okay, yep, we will be here. We'll be running tours from 10 to 6. All right. Well, thank you, dear. You're welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs> Goodbye. That was kind of interesting. Kind of. New River Gorge, this is Mandy. Yes, hello. Uh, what can you tell me about New River Gorge? What would you like to know? Uh, is there a bridge? Is walking? there a village? For, for walking a bridge. No, you can't walk the bridge. Oh dear! I'll see the travel guide cable cars. Yes, there are tram. There is a tram, but it's not located next to the bridge. All right. Has anyone ever fallen out of the cars? I'm sorry. Has anyone ever fallen out of the cars? No. 
All right. I'll, I'll be the first, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, where do I go? Hello? What happened? Hello? Oh, they hung up on me. They don't want anyone there. They don't want anyone to fall out. Uh, Miriam, typically businesses don't don't try to get people to come that are trying, you know, trying to fall out of things. Okay, Miriam, let's try this again. We had a little bit of a uh, configuration screw up on the last two calls that we did. Um, as it turns out, the, the telephone was mapped into the, the uh, audio input on here. So call quality is going to be pure shit when I mix it. But that's, you know, that's what happens when you're not paying attention to things, you know? Yes, you're a stupid boy. You're just as stupid as your father. Yeah, again, I'm not, I'm not your son's son. I, I don't know how many times I have to make it clear to you that um, he's dead. And he was dead before I, I came to be. And um, y you should know this. You really should. You're stupid. Okay, Miriam, thank you. Um, so I'm looking for things to call. We got a couple more things uh, in the travel guide for West Virginia. Um, got some art, art museums and uh, uh, other stuff. So we're gonna get through this hopefully before I uh, jump out of a tenth-story building. Um, okay. I don't want to call an airport. I want to call this museum. Let's see here. It says here, uh, you know what? How about you read this? Yes. Huntington Museum of Art. Situated on 52 acres with extensive nature trails, the Huntington Museum of Art maintains a world class art collection of more than 15,000 objects and is home to the only subtropical plant conservatory in the region. The museum features permanent exhibits of Near Eastern, Near Eastern art and artifacts, antique firearms, yes, and contemporary and historically important glass art. The museum also regularly hosts temporary exhibitions. Could they do an exhibition on, on Bethany? You can ask, okay? Maybe actually ask the questions that you want to ask instead of changing it up during the call. Yes. All right. Yes, I'm a local, I'm a local artist. I want to, I want to have an exhibition. Except, I said, I don't know. Miriam has had a stroke. No, no, I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud, dear. Sure, that's what it is. Okay, here we go, Miriam. Wait, where am I? I, I don't know. I'm gone. I've gone over here now. Let me go back to my, my microphone. Yes. I, I, I don't know how I got over there. Yes, here we are. Okay, Miriam, let's go. Yes. Honey to Museum of Art, how may I direct your call? Oh, I'm just looking for general information. What did you need, ma'am? Yes, I'm wondering about the nature trails and the temporary exhibitions. I'm sorry, the trails? Yes. There is uh, one trail that is wheelchair accessible. It goes down about a quarter of a mile. And then right. you can turn around and come back. And the plant conservatory. Uh, what? I would Conserv like to learn about that. The conservatory is wheelchair accessible also. All right. I, I don't know why you keep bringing up wheelchairs. I, I'm not immobile, dear. I, okay. I, I, I take offense that you assume, as a of old, I, I'm in a wheelchair. Uh, we have two wheelchairs here that are available on first-come, first-served basis. No, I don't need a wheelchair. Okay. Why, 
why must you assume that I need a wheelchair? Hello? Oh, oh I'm sorry. I, I thought you asked if we had wheelchairs. No. No. And what, what can you tell me of the antique firearms? Uh, well, uh, they go back to, like, Daniel Boone days and before that. Oh, do you fire them there? I'm sorry? Do you fire the firearms? No, they, they're, um, they're all behind glass. Oh, oh dear. I was hoping to fire the firearms, you know. Uh, <laughs> no, we, we, we don't fire them. They're just on display. All right. Yes. And what temporary exhibitions do you have at the moment? Uh, ex temporary exhibitions that we have right now are um, George Bellows lithographs. Uh, it's um, prints and paintings. We also have um, quilts that were curated by Nancy Crow. They're quilts from all over the world, contemporary quilts. Um, all right. Yes. How do I apply to exhibit my, my artwork there? I'm sorry, how do you apply for what? To show my artwork there. You would have to speak with our curator. Oh, all right. Yes. Would you like to speak with Chris? Yes, yes. All right, just a moment, please. Hello? Yes, hello. I'm a local artist, dear. I, I do paintings of my fanny. And I was wondering how I'd be able to get my artwork featured there. Um, are you, you're asking how your work would be featured here? Is that what you're asking? Yes. Um, well, what, what's your name again? Yes, it's Miriam Jones. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. I had a tasteful news of myself. Yes. Um, and and where is it you're located? Oh, I'm located in New Gorge. Okay. And right where outside. Yes. Um, well, you know, I guess the best thing would be for you to, you know, send some photographs of your work or something so we could take a look at it. All right, yes. You want some pictures of my body? Uh-huh. Oh, yes. All right. Where do I send the photos? Um, well, again, you can send them to me. My name is Chris Hatton, H-A-T-T-E-N. All right. And Huntington Museum of Art. Yes. All right, yes. I'll, I'll package you up some photos and send them on. Okay. All right, dear. All right, sure thing. All right, thank okay. you, dear. Uh -huh. I hope you enjoy my photos of a Friday. Okay, all right, sure. Thank you. You're welcome, dear. Uh -huh. Goodbye. Bye. Yes, yes. They all got to see me, Fanny. Yeah, that's great, Miriam. Wonderful. Sure, they all want to see that. Yes, they ask for photos. Yeah. yeah, they're not sure what they're in for. Museum of Radio and Technology. This is Bob. Yes, hello. I'm wondering about your collections. Hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'm wondering about your your collections that you have on display. Oh, it's um okay. It's vintage radio from the early Edison. Uh, cylinder players up through um, the 20s and 30s, and then uh, early television. Oh, yes. Yes, my parents had, had one of those wax players, yes. 
Um, the the cylinder players are don't have the wax cylinders themselves. They're actually a uh, they're a l later revision where they were actually coated with a uh, phenolic material. Oh yes, we had the wax. And my father he didn't like some of the recordings my mother got, so he threw them in the fire. Oh really? Yes, yes, yes. It lit the house on fire. Yes. The fire brigade had to come along and, and put our house out. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, that was many years ago. Yes. I can imagine. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, you have radios, I see. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes. I worked as a radio operator during the Second World War. Yes. I led many young men astray. Yes. Oh, I wasn't supposed to tell anyone that. Oh, dear. Hey, what else do you have there? Ah, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, amateur radio gear, some of the early shortwave gear. Um, there's some of the early computers and stuff like that. Oh, what computers do you have there, dear? Uh, the early ones. The um, Some of the IBM, some of the early Apples and, uh, and IBM and such. She have the internet. I haven't got the internet. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Do you have the internet? Do we have internet at the museum? No, do, do you have the internet? At the museum? No, 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 no. The internet box. Do you have the box? So it was your question, do we have internet access at the museum? No, no. Do you have the box that the internet is in? No. You don't have it, all right. I keep trying to find the box that the internet comes in, but no one seems to have it. All right, I think that's all of my questions today, Okay, dear. all right. All right, you take care. Bye-bye. Yes. yes, goodbye. They hung up on you, Miriam. And what is this about you leading, you know, people astray on the radio? Hey, they hired me, the Royal Air Force. They put me on the radios, and they told me, all right, dear, you, you direct the young pilots to, to places they need to go. Oh, I couldn't read anything. I sent them wherever the hell I could find, hey, all the maps, and I think I'd let them all, I, I let them all into, into harm's way. Okay, Miriam. So were you working for the enemy? No. Yeah. But my brother, he was in the RAF, and I'm quite certain I'm the reason. I'm the reason why he got shot down. That's pretty heavy, Miriam. Yes. Oh, I killed my own brother. Yes. Yes. I did it. I did it. Yes. Okay, Miriam. That's, don't get so excited. You know, committing murder is pretty fucking awful. Hey, oh, it was so good. I hated that bastard. What it did to me as a child. He deserved it. Yes. I'm not even gonna get into this. I don't want to know. I imagine it's something terrible. So let's just move on, okay? Yes. He, he took my food. He took all the food. He was a fat bastard. But when he went to the RAF, they got him thin again. Okay, Miriam. Whatever you say. Blanco Glass Company. Blanco has been hand blowing glass for over 100 years. Take a free tour of the factory. To see a centuries old tradition live before leaving, 
visit the incredible gift shop to take a piece of West Virginia home with you. Oh, all right. They, they blow things there. Yeah, Miriam. You want to call them? No. Too bad. I really don't. Yeah, well, you're calling them, okay? Blink of glass. Hello. Can you tell me more about your your factory? Can you tell me about your factory, dear? We make hand handmade uh, tableware. Oh, tableware. Yes. I see they have a a free tour. Uh, when is that? I'm sorry? You have a free tour? Yes, ma'am. Those are Monday through Friday from 9 to 12 and 12.30 to 2. Oh, I see. All right. Uh, uh, what do we see on the tour? You get to watch the men make the glass. There's no women making glass. Is it only and men? there's no charge. But is there women making glass? Is there what? Women making glass. No, uh -uh. Uh, Why is that? Well, we just don't have any. Oh. Uh, but you're a woman, aren't you? you? You can make the glass. Yes. Yeah, you can see the tours Monday through Friday, 9 to 12 and 12.30 to 2. All right. Can I bring my own sand? No. Oh. Can, can I get my, my husband, his ashes, blown into glass? No, ma'am, we can't blow those into glass. Oh, dear. All right, well... Oh. I'll come anyways tomorrow. Okay. I'll bring the ashes. We'll see what we can do. Okay. All right. That sounds good. All right. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Goodbye. See, Miriam, you have ideas for these things. Isn't Bertrand still alive, though? He won't be. Uh, okay, Miriam. You've confessed to multiple murders today. That's, um... And and future murders too. That's that's good. Wow. Okay, moving on. Um, Miriam. Yes. Oh, hey, Dad. I was just I was just looking at something. Looking at a magazine. They have West Virginia Independence Hall. Yeah, that's that's the one we're gonna call next. Okay. <laughs> Grave Creek Mound Complex <laughs> What is that? I don't know It's some sort of burial place I, I don't know It says something about Old history Over 15,000 years ago I, I don't know I have no idea Good morning West Virginia Independence Hall This is Sue Beth speaking How may I help you? Yes, hello What can you tell me about The Independence Hall? Uh, well, what are you wanting to know? Uh, well, what is there to see? All right. Well, West Virginia Independence Hall opened in 1859 as a custom house, a federal building with a custom house on the second story, a post office on the first, and a federal district courtroom on the third story. It served as a, a federal building until 1907, then went into private hands for many years and housed a lot of businesses. In the mid-60s, the state of West Virginia purchased the building from private owners and began the process of restoring it back to what it was like in its days as a custom house. Uh, we have a brief film on a short movie on the lower level, runs about 18 minutes, that tells the story of how West Virginia became a state separate from Virginia because that all took place here in the building. 
And uh, up on the second story, we have a display of Civil War battle flags. We have a room that is dedicated to the building's restoration, a room that is dedicated to uh, industries and products that were created in Wheeling throughout Wheeling's history, a room that is set up to look like a, a fancy parlor would have looked in the uh, 19th century around the time of the Civil War and the statehood movement, uh, Governor Pierpont's office, uh, the office of the surveyor of the port of Wheeling. Up on the third story, we have our restored historic courtroom. And on the first story, we have our statehood exhibit and our restored historic post office. All right. What are you open? Uh, we are open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesdays through Saturdays. We are closed on Sundays, Mondays, and state holidays. How, how busy are you? Uh, well, I, that's hard to say from, at any given time. Right now we're not terribly busy, but that could change in 10 minutes because someone could show up that's uh, totally unexpected and bring a group of people with them. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the information, dear. Do you need information about uh, where, where are you located? Oh, I'm in New York, but I'm planning a trip soon. Uh-huh. Yes. Well, we'll be glad to have you here. All right. Uh, you you come in uh, on the in. Uh, we have a parking lot on the 16th Street side of the building, and that's where you enter from. There's a, a ramp that leads up to the door. You don't come in through the front door. You come that's in all through right. that door. I'm flying. All, all right. Yes. But you won't be flying directly to the building. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yes, yes. I fly my own plane. Oh, you fly your own plane? Yes. You still won't fly directly to the building. <laughs> oh, we'll see about that, dear. All right. Yes. Do you have a landing pad on top? No, we do not. Oh, dear. I'll make something work. All right, dear. All right. Is All right. there anything else I can help you with? That's it, dear. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yes. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Miriam, you don't fly a plane. I do now. Okay. I think they... they uh, you might get reported now. Because that, that might be considered a terroristic threat. Yes. No. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. All right, Miriam, are you ready? We're going we're gonna to call this, okay? Yes. What, what are we calling? Graves. They have graves there. Oh. All right. Here, let me just adjust this because it's, it's just not, not in a good spot. Okay. Okay, Miriam, are we ready here? Yes. Thank you for calling Grave Creek Mounds. This is Heidi. How can I help you? Yes, hello there. Uh, I'm wondering about what... What your organization is, exactly? Excuse me, I didn't understand what you said. Yes. What is this? It's a, it's a museum. All right. And I see there's something about burial mounds. What exactly yeah, it's a, is that? It's a, well, it's a den of people. It was um, been here since about 250 B.C. All right. This is the natives, yes? Excuse me? Native peoples. Yes. yes. So this is an Indian burial ground, yes? It's a, yeah, it's a mound. It's a burial mound. Oh, yes. Is it desecration or no? I'm sorry, I'm not understanding what you're saying. Are there ancient spirits there? Well, I don't know about spirits, but there were bodies in the mound. Do you see the bodies? You cannot see the bodies, no. Oh, well, that's good, yes. So what do you have there, dear? Well, it's a museum. It, uh, it tells you all about the mound and the other artifacts with, that were found in the state of West Virginia. Oh, what what mounds are there? There's only one mound. Oh. It's a big mound. It's a, about 60 feet tall. Oh, yes. That's a, that's a large mound, indeed. Yes. 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 I have a large mound as well. Yes. You do? 
Yes. Would you like to see me Fanny? What? Would you like to see me Fanny? You can come Saturday. We're here on Saturday. Oh, yes. Good. All right. I'll be there on Saturday. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Okay, Miriam. You only sort of talked about your large mound. Yes. But mine's now 60 feet. Oh, that's probably a good thing. Yes. Ha, ha, ha. Everywhere. I was advised that the Blenner Hassett was the place to stay in Parkersburg. People raved about the food in the rooms. So I thought, what the heck, I will stay for my Norman stay. I completely regret my stay. The room was freezing. I had to turn the heat up to 80 and was still shivering. There was, there was pubic hair on the comforter. And the duvet looked at it hadn't seen Clorox or washing machine in a few years. There was pubic hair on the floor in the bathroom as well. So gross. It did send me a new comforter and apologised, but it didn't offer a discount on my room or, or offer another stay or anything. The bed and million pillows on it were wonderful. Made me forgive the pub. Made me forgive the pubic hair comforter. I ate it in a hotel restaurant, eating a burger and sweet potato fries. The fries were to die for, but the burger was burnt, and it took my server fifteen minutes after sitting there to ask him for condiments. Not worth the money at all. I was very disappointed in this hotel, and will never stay there again. Oh well, at least I tried. That review is very confusing. It talks a lot about the pubic hair, but then says that there's a million pillows, and, and that was that made everything forgivable. And then goes on to say that they hated it. I think this person might have some problems. Thank you for calling the Blinner House Hotel. This is Samantha. How can I direct your call? Yes, I, I'm lost in the hotel. You're what? I'm lost. I don't know where You're... I am. You're lost? Yes, I'm in the hotel, but I, I, I've stumbled upon a to be a room with no light. Brad. Okay, what is it again? Yes, I, I've, I'm in the hotel somewhere, but I don't know where I am. Okay, hold on just a second. Yes. Hello? Hello? Um, yes, uh, what can we help you with? Yes, I, I was visiting a friend here at the hotel, but I, I, I don't know where I am now. It's a room that's talk. Miriam, what's going on today, huh? Oh, baby? Uh, what are you doing? Why are you calling me baby? Uh, why not, honey? I'm not, honey. You'd you be respectful, boy. No, I'm not going to respect you. You're an old whore. Yes, uh, yes, that is true, but you have to respect the, your elders. Respect your elders, yes. All right, let, let's call uh, Bird Dean's Five and Dime. Why the hell not? Uh, if you cannot find it anywhere else, try Bear Dean's. Your grandparents did. Is that true, Miriam? No. Well, I didn't live there. All right, well, now you do. Bird Dean's Five and Dime, how may I help you? Yes, hello. Hello. Uh, what do you have there? May I help you? Yes, hello. Yes, oh, I'm looking for, uh, I'm looking for a little tiny toy. Uh, they had it back in England when I was a child. Uh, it was of a little man in a little box. A little man in a box? Do you happen to have that there? No, we don't have anything like that. Thank you. Oh, all right. Bye-bye. Yes. Goodbye. All right, Miriam, read this one while I get you ready here. Yes. Oil and Gas Museum. Discover the intriguing history of the oil and gas industry going back to the first oil well in America and the dawn of the Industrial Age. Right, you want to call this, Miriam, or, you know, we'll... 
Yeah, let's just call it, okay? All right, yes. Oh, I'm on gas museum. Hello there, dear. Uh, what can you tell me about your okay. museum? <laughs> What's that again? Yes. What can you tell me about your museum? Oh. Well, we've got the history of the oil and gas in this area is uh, basically what the the history is. Right. Okay. Okay. What, and, what and, and we and we got a discount on uh, uh, admission today. It's five dollars a person. Oh, that's good. Do you have a landing pad on on the roof of your building for me to land my plane? No. No? Alright. Do you know where I can land? Uh, and if you could get here in the, within the next half hour or so, we got a bunch of old cars here from 19, early 1900s, old steam powered cars. Oh, yes. I remember riding in those as a young girl. <laughs> yeah, well, they're, uh, got a lot of Stanley Stevers sitting out here right now. Oh, yes. Uh, how are you? Yeah. Yes. Can I land huh. on your parking lot? Uh, right now, parking's a little bit of a problem, but we'll find a place to put you. Yes, I'm flying my plane. Okay. Yes. It's a biplane. I bought it from an old, old German, German gentleman. He flew it during the World War. Yes. Well, uh, right. yeah, well, like I said, though, we got uh, we got a special of five dollars for today for for adults. All right. I'll, I'll be in. As soon as I can find a landing space for my, my plane, yes. Yeah, <laughs> oh. Well, I hope to see you here in a little bit. Yes. All right. Goodbye, sir. Okay. Thank you. They don't have parking for a plane, Miriam. All right, Miriam, we have uh, Henderson Hall. I'm going to read it this time. One of America's finest heritage assets, Henderson Hall, is home to a unique collection of relics uh, preserved since 1838 by six generations that tell a first-person story of early plantation history in West Virginia. Oh, boy. Yes. We don't have plantations in the UK. We just, we just invited them into our homes and... I use them that way. Uh, okay, Miriam. Yes. Well, I hear there's quite a bit of history here in America about the slave trade. Uh, yeah, pretty bad time in our history. Anderson Hall, may I help you? Yes, hello. Uh, what can you tell me about the museum? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Yes, hello. What can you tell me of your... Of the museum. What can I tell you of the museum? Yes. Um, I'm not sure what you're wanting to know, the time we're open, that kind of thing? Yes, well, that, yes. Oh, well, we're open Tuesday through Sunday from 12 until 5 each day. All right. And it's a self-guided tour. There are four four stories to the home, um, oh. but, but, you know, you... You come in, and it, it costs $10 for admission, and there's a video to watch that gives you some history of the house, and then it's a self-guided tour, and you're free to go on, like I said, there are four floors, and there's a basement full of artifacts, and there are several buildings on the property to be viewed also. There's a schoolhouse and a tool room and things like that. What sort of artifacts do you have? Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes. What sort of artifacts? What? What sort of artifacts? What kind of artifacts? Yes. It's, it's just a house full of, just a home where five generations lived. It's just all of their belongings are in the house. Everything is authentic to the home. It's over 200 years old. Everyone's dead, aren't they? 
pardon? Is everyone dead? Yes. Oh, dear. What of the slaves? Pardon? The slaves. What about the slaves? Was this a, a plantation? Yes, they had slaves. Oh, are they buried there? Pardon? Are they buried there? I'm sorry, I'm really having a hard time hearing you. Buried? Are the slaves buried on premises? Are the slaves buried on the premises? Yes. No, uh, not to my knowledge. Oh, well, that's good. You won't be haunted by them. Yes, yes. All right. Uh, where do I park my plane? Where do you park? Yes, my plane. I'm flying. You're flying on a plane? Yes. Where do I park? Where do you park? There's yes. parking. You, you, when you pull into the to the Henderson Hall, you'll see where it's, there's parking available. Can I land my plane in the parking lot? Can you land a plane in the parking lot? Yes. Uh, no, you cannot. Do you have a landing pad on top of the building? No, there's not. Oh, dear. But you're more than welcome to stop by. All right, well. I'll, have a great I'll day. I'll find a place to put my plane in. I'll come right in. Yes? Okay, you have a good day. All right, he was well, Goodbye. No plane parking. It's not really surprising, Miriam. I thought everywhere in America had planes. We don't fly... Do you think we have flying cars? Yes. No, we don't. Oh, well, we have them in England. No, you don't. Yes, I fly every day in my, my flying car. Miriam, what drugs have you taken today? I, I haven't taken any drugs. Okay, something tells me you did. No, no, not at all. Yes, Thistle Do Farm. Thistle Do Farm offers beast shows and educational tours. They invite you to visit their gift shop in the foothills of Appalachia, near the Ohio River. Taste some fresh comb honey and learn how it is made. All right, you want to learn how honey's made? Yes. Okay, here we go, honey. I don't call me that. Yeah, okay. May I help you? Yes, hello. I'm wondering how honey is made. What is it? How is the honey made? How is the honey made? Yes. By bees? All right, yes. I see that you have a, you have a tour of some sort. Hold on just a minute. I go to the other room so I can hear you better. All right. Hi, this is Ellie Conlon. Uh, you had some questions about our honey? Yes, yes. I wanted to know about the tour. Pardon me? I hear you have tours. Tours? Well, yes. we, d we have a shop here where you can see the bees and you can taste honey. And you can also see uh, the historical folk toys and how they're made. Oh, yes. Do I get to touch the bees? Can you touch the bees? Yes. Uh, no, we don't. Uh, the bees, you don't want to touch them. You can see them. You can see them through a glass case. Oh, I see. When would you like to come? Oh, it'd be October. Uh, I'm coming in on Bridge Day. Yes. Oh, that's right, Bridge Day. I think that's the yes. middle of October. Yes. Uh-huh. I'll be flying my plane. Uh, do, you, do you happen to have a, a somewhere I can, I can land? Uh, no, there's no uh, landing place in New Martinsville or Proctor. Wheeling is the closest airport. All right. I'll, I'll schedule it there then. Yes. Well, right, you uh, just let us know ahead of time when you're coming, okay? All right. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you, dear. Yes. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Yes. Okay, Miriam, I thought you said you were riding your bike today. I don't have a bike. I never learned. My, my brother was supposed to teach me, but... That's when he went into the Air Force, and then they, they hired me on to do the radios. 
How old were you? I was nine. Yes, yes. Okay, Miriam. Um, we have somewhere that makes tea, I think. I think they make tea here. It's a, um, it's the world's largest, uh, or is that right? Yes, yeah, the world's largest teapot. Oh, oh, yes. I do like tea. Well, can they pour it down my throat? Yeah, yeah, just ask, okay? Good afternoon, top of West Virginia. This is Bonnie. Yes, hello. I do have the largest teapot. Pardon me? The largest teapot. I'm sorry, I don't understand you. Is this the largest This is teapot? the convention. This is this is the Convention and Visitors Bureau. Oh, dear. This is listed in your... Do you have the wrong number? Yeah, it's listed in, your, in the travel guide for the largest teapot. Oh, that's in Chester. That's in Chester, West Virginia. Oh, yes. Do they make tea there? Um, you mean you want to drive up to see it? Yes, but do they serve tea? No, they don't serve tea. It is just uh, a building that they used to sell art and stuff out of years and years ago, and it's just uh, the world's largest teapot, and... Um, you can just walk in and look at it, but you uh, they don't have anything in there. They have souvenirs you can buy and stuff. Oh, dear. Oh, I thought they saw tea there. No, no. Okay. All right. Well, okay? Yes, yes. Uh-huh. All right. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Yeah. You lied to me. They don't sell tea there. I thought they did. It's the world's largest teapot. Why wouldn't they sell tea there, you know? It's a fucking lie. They lied to me. He lied to me, boy. Hey, I'm gonna whip you again. Miriam, don't don't make threats that you can't can't make good on. You're, you're too weak to whip anyone. In fact, you're too weak to even stand on your own. You're using a walker. Hey, don't tell don't tell everyone that. They have to think I'm strong. Otherwise, they'll stop listening. Okay, we're back. Uh, there was a bunch of updates to do on our server and. It's usually best to, to get that done before someone hacks in. Right, Miriam? Hey, I had a man try to hack me to bits once. Uh, sure you did. Okay, let's try and call the Palace of Gold again. Um, their phone didn't pick up before. Maybe it's maybe it's gone now. So let, let's try and get to them here. This is going to Vindaba. May I help you? Hello there, dear. Is this the Palace of Gold? Yes. Oh, good. Yes. Uh, I was wondering, is this a place I can come and visit? Yes. Oh, good. Yes. Uh, I wanted to know if I could be buried in the rose garden. Pardon? What was that? Yes. I read about your your rose garden. I was wondering if oh, I could Oh, you want make... to come and visit the rose garden? Well, yes. I'd also like to try and I want to be I want to be buried in your rose garden. Oh I don't think that's possible. Oh dear. why not? Well we don't bury people in their rose garden. <laughs> oh, oh I could be the first. No. <laughs> so funny. Oh, I I want to be food for the plants. I want to regrow. I want to be Um re I'm going to have to rose. leave. I'm going to have to leave. I have someone on the other line right now, okay? Oh, dear. Oh, all right, dear. All right. Hi, oh. Krishna. Bye-bye. Yes. He was well. Yes. Hare, hare, Krishna. Yes. Oh, how did that song go? Oh, how did that song go, dear? I don't know what song you're talking about. Hare, hare, Krishna, Krishna. Hare, hare. Yes, I think that's it. I don't know. I don't know anything about them. But you can't be buried in the rose garden. You can't be reborn a rose. Because they don't do that there, Miriam. I don't know how I'm going to be reborn now. I thought I was going to be buried among the roses. And then I would be an award-winning rose. Yes. Yes. Nah, you're, too, you're way too evil for that. You, you can't be a rose, Miriam. You might be, you know, a, a durian fruit. Yeah, you know, smell like shit. That's more your style. Oh, oh, I'm gonna hurt you. Oh, I'm gonna beat you. You've been so rude to your gran. Oh. Where's my stick? I took it away from you when you walked in. 
I don't need no beatings today. Yes, you do. You little bastard, you. Okay, Miriam. We really need to clean our closet. It's full of feces. Yeah. Yeah, we got that, Miriam. So what, you just... You just go in the closet looking for something, and the door closes, and you take a shit on the floor? Is that how it goes in your household? I, I suppose, yes. I just say, I, I have dreams when I'm awake sometimes, and I think on places that I, I, I've been in the past. That's how it works when you're old. You, you get a little confused sometimes. Uh, I don't know if that's how it works for everyone, but it certainly works that way for you. Yes. What are we calling now? I don't know. Uh, that, that was an, that was an idea. Uh, all right, I think we're gonna call this other museum. Have you ever heard of the Mothman, Miriam? Yes. I, I saw him last night outside my window. He was peeping in out. I was I, I was cleaning. I, I was cleaning my fanny. Yeah, that's uh. You gotta report that to the authorities. You should report it to the museum. All right. Yes. All right. Mothman, he was trying to get inside. Yeah, save it for them, okay? All right. Mothman Museum? Yes, hello there, dear. I would like to report a sighting. Excuse me? Yes, I saw the Mothman last night. He was peeping in through my windows. I was showering, and, and I saw him. That's his red eyes. He was, he was staring at me. I need to let people know that he's, he's alive and well. I, I don't know who you, to let you talk to, but... Do you have researchers there? Scholars of the, of the Mothman mythos? Because I saw him. Yeah, you better call the police. Is there anything I can tell you? Oh, they've already been and gone. They told me to call you. I said, oh, that's the boss man, yeah. You better call them. So I'm calling you now. Uh, I'm sorry, we really can't help you out there. Well, what can you tell me of the boss man? Where was his last sight in? Chicago. Chicago? No, no, no. This is in West Virginia, dear. Yes. I was at the Berkeley Spa just last week, and I saw him there, and he was following me. He followed me back home. Yes, he's been staring at me, Fanny. Please, he told me, oh, I'll just call the boss by museum. They don't know what to do. I'll call you, he don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do now? What was he staring at? I was staring at my fanny. I, I was cleaning myself. I, I was staring. I don't want any man to stare at that. At, at, at your fanny? Yes. 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 Oh, Lord. Yes. I'm 84 years old. There's no reason anyone wants to stare at that. Oh, dear. If you say so. Do you have anyone I can speak to regarding this? I really nobody here. Uh, the police would be the best people to contact. Yes, but they told me to call you. Well, I think they were wrong. Oh dear. He has those red eyes. There's no man with red eyes that can stare through. It is your soul like this one did. Yes. I just, he was there for, for five minutes as I cleaned myself. I, he just stared. Yeah, well, you better call the police back. But he flew away. I saw him fly away. Yeah, he yes. might want to call the military then. I, I, yes. All right, yes. Yes, that's an idea. Yes. All right. Well, thank you, dear. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Yes. Goodbye. Bye bye. They didn't take you seriously, Miriam. It's a museum. They're supposed to take you kind of seriously. I mean, people.
People have seen the Mothman since 1966. They continue to see the Mothman. They they report it back to this museum. So I don't know why they didn't take you seriously. I mean, it's because it's, um, you mentioned your fanny. Yes, I have to mention my fanny. The Mothman, he, he flew up to my window on the third story, and he was staring. He was just, he was just uh, staring at my fanny. Yes, for ten solid minutes, then he flew away. You didn't call the police, did you? No. If I called the police to hold me in, I I don't need any extra attention on me. But the museum should should help me. Yeah, but they won't. They're all about preserving history. They're not about hearing about current events. That's how museums are. I suppose. Miriam, why are you over here? Go back to your microphone. I I don't want to. You're telling the audience... Truths I don't want them to know. Miriam, go back to your booth. All right, yes. I I, I don't want to. All right, yes. I'll come back. Yes. All right. Here, here. you're going to call the lighthouse, okay? Uh, All right. Tell me if you like the tree. Hello. What can you tell me about your lighthouse? (laughs) Why is there a lighthouse in the middle of the mountains? You what now? You want to go to the lighthouse? Yes. Why is there a lighthouse here in the middle of the mountains? Uh, I can't really understand what you're saying, but yeah, come on up. No. Why? Why is there a lighthouse here? There's no water. Why? Yes. Uh, it's for it's for airplanes at night, so it's for, especially with the FAA. Yes, but there's no water here for water. I can't... I can't take my my boat in here. Mm-hmm. I, I don't understand. Well, yep, that's one story, though. Do what? Yes, I'm flying my plane what? in. Uh, where can I land? Uh-huh. Where can yep, I land? Yep, you'll see. Come on up. Where can I land? Okay. I, I can't see what you're saying, ma'am. I have a plane. Oh, where can I land my plane? Can I land on the lighthouse? Right. No, they can't understand. They don't. They don't speak English, Miriam. They speak hillbilly there. Yes, they said, I "Do what now?" Uh, that's that's common like common lingo for the American hillbilly. He he doesn't speak the Queen's English. No, or the American bastardized English. No, that's a whole different breed of people down there. Let's give them five minutes, and we'll call them back, okay? Yes. Someone's going like the tree. Yes, hello. I'm wondering about what you offer there. You what? What do you offer there? Hello? Ah, uh, ma'am, I can't un- yeah. Yes. What is, what is your business, dear? Oh. All right, then. They're not getting my business. No, they're not. They're just not hillbilly enough. Okay. For more than two centuries, the Greenbrier has been America's resort, trademark, create timeless memories and experience an incomparable luxury lifestyle of shared well-being, joyous adventures, and exceptional sporting activities in gorgeous surroundings. Whether you stay for a day or a lifetime, what? Do they want everyone to die there? Probably. Located amid the breathtaking mountains of West Virginia, the Greenbrier is a national historic landmark and world-class resort that has been welcoming guests from around the world since 1778. The challenge of championship golf or exploring 11,000 acres of scenic mountains. The adventure of touring a post-Cold War bunker or rolling the dice at America's only private casino. The joy of exquisite dining and shopping in elegant settings, or serene treatments within a mineral spa. <sighs> the cream rice sounds like a Kevin. Yeah. In Fallout 76, this is actually the White Springs Resort. They modeled it after the Greenbrier. There's also a military bunker in the Greenbrier, which they utilize in Fallout 76 as a uh, type of vault. I don't know what you're talking about, dear. Don't worry, it's it's a video game. Oh, yes. 
What? Oh, I tried playing Pong when it came out. We broke it. We got it. We installed it on our telly. And Bertrand, he threw the, he threw the controllers out the window. I'm sure that happened. Yes. It hit, it, it hit a bobby in the head. And he, he came into our house and he go, Oh, he what are you doing there? Well, you can't be throwing this shite out your window. All right enough for citation for you. And then Bertrand was taken to jail. But the Bobby, he, he got a concussion and he died. Uh, okay, that sounds believable. Enough. Yes. But they found it. They found him not, not, not responsible for the crime because it was a domestic dispute between him and the, and the pawn machine. They said they let him out. After, after three months. Isn't that right, Bertrand? All right, it's not here. Yes. yes. That was in 1977. Yes. yes. We, we never, never touched the devil's machine ever again. Uh, okay, Miriam. You know, video, video games have progressed a lot since Pong. They're, um, they try to model the real world. Anyway, let's try and call uh, White Springs here and... Um, Greenbrier. Maybe you should call it White Springs. How's that sound, Miriam? Yes. I'll call it White Springs. Now, you'll know it's, it's someone playing video games, won't they? Yeah, you're probably right. Say you got stuck in the bunker, okay? And there's a robot that's not letting you out. Good afternoon, the Greenbrier. Would you just speaking to help you? Yes, hello. Oh, I'm planning it. Uh, vacation there uh, in October, and I'd, I'd like to find out about uh, what sort of services your your resort provides. One moment. Thank you for calling reservations at the Greenbrier. This is Nikki speaking. May I have your first and last name, please? Yes, it's Miriam Jones. Thank you. And how may I assist you, Miss Jones? Yes, I, I wonder about uh, what sort of uh, oh dear. What sort of features your resort uh, has to offer? Well, we have um, we have a very nice spa that offers all sorts of services. We have a um, we have retail shopping. We have over fifty five activities, outdoor and indoor pool, uh, three golf courses, several tennis courts, indoor and outdoor, um, as well as um, a casino. And uh, we have uh, several different types of accommodations available, um, just depending on um, when you wanted to stay. And I could kind of give you some right information. Yes. I heard there was a bunker of some sort there. There is. We do have a, uh, we give tours of the uh, Congressional uh, Fallout Shelter Bunker uh, that was declassified in the, uh, in the early 90s. Ah, oh, yes. That's for when the nukes go off, isn't it? Oh, yeah, <laughs> it was. <laughs> Thankfully, it never had to be used. <laughs> yes, we, we should hope not. Yes. Uh, now, my grandson says that you have robots. Is robots? I don't know. Yes. Yes, you have robots. What? It, oh, we come. don't, no. Oh, dear. All right. And he told me all oh, the robots ran. The robots, they, they help you out. They get you in and out of bed. They, they do the, the spa treatments for you in the mineral baths. Is that true or no? No, it's not, no. Oh, dear. Oh, God, I beat that child. He, he keeps <laughs> lying to me. He has me call all over the state looking for the robots. Nowhere. No one has a robot. Yeah. It's, it's, anyhow, yes, I'll help you fly my plane and I, I, on the way in. Uh, do you have any work and land my plane? We do, actually. We have a local airport um, 15 minutes from us in Lewisburg, town of Lewisburg. It's called Green Bar Valley Airport, and 
they do private planes as well as um, commercial flights through United um, uh, from oh, Dulles in D.C. and O'Hare in Chicago. You don't have to deal with any of the scorched. My grandson, he said, there's irradiated people there and they chase you. Is that true? What was, what was the question? I'm sorry. Yes. My grandson, he told me there's people that are irradiated there and they, they chase the planes and they chase you when you're on your way into the Greenbrier. No. Oh, all right. Uh, that's good then. Uh, it's just chalking up some office nonsense then. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll be All flying right, in Mr. October the 19th. I'll, I'll call uh, closer to when I'm coming in and, and make plans with you. All right? Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much. You have a good day. Yes, you as well. And, and make sure the scorch beasts, they don't come oh. after you. Uh, Apparently they're flying, and uh, they shoot fire at you. I, I don't know oh, if that's goodness. true. Mm -hmm. okay. All, All right. right, well, you have a good day, Mrs. Jones. Thank yeah, you very much. Well. Goodbye. Goodbye. Very good, Miriam. You took all my suggestions, and you used them. I don't think any of them were true. You've been lying to me. No, I've been telling you fibs. You know, things that occur in a video game, based around that entire resort. Those are lies. I'm going to give you the belt. Yes. Oh, dear, I'm not wearing a belt today. I'll, I'll slap you. Yes. Yes. No, don't, don't, don't. Ow. Ow. Ow.